AI in games is not particularly novel given that the technology has been used to power games from Half-Life to chess. But with the new generation of AI tools like ChatGPT quickly evolving, developers are looking at ways AI could shape the next generation of games, especially in terms of how they could impact the labor that goes into making a video game. But while the full grasp of AI's effect on the video game industry as a whole remains to be seen, there are examples of how generative AI could advance the ways players interact with a game's characters, enemies, and story. There aren't a whole lot of games out right now that take advantage of generative AI, but for an example of existing games with advanced AI, as well as stable experiments that offer a taste of what's to come, check out the projects below. AI Dungeon is more of a fun experiment than a proper video game. The browser RPG from Developer Latitude lets AI generate random storylines for players to then play around it. Logging into the website, players first choose what kind of scenario they want to experience, whether it's a fantasy, mystery, cyberpunk, or zombie world. AI Dungeon will then generate a story based on that setting, and from there, players can interact with the game like a classic text adventure. This approach to text AI is not dissimilar from what people are already doing with ChatGPT, and other companies, like Hidden Door, are readying similar and more interactive and game-forward takes on the AI Dungeon. But as an example of how AI could affect interaction with a Dungeon Master, NPC, or enemy in future games, AI Dungeon is worth an experiment. In 2014, Creative Assembly released Alien Isolation, a game that pits the player against the universe's most perfect killing organism. The AI used to design the alien was not new, but shows just how advanced existing AI technology in games already were. In a deep dive from GameDeveloper.com, Alien Isolation took a unique approach to existing AI techniques by essentially making it a PvP game where neither the player nor the xenomorph is fully aware of each other's actions or location. However, a second AI, the director, would periodically give the alien hints about your location, giving the alien its edge and advantage, just like in a real-life xenomorph encounter. Another well-known game that offers a glimpse of how more advanced AI could upend gaming is Monolith Productions' Middle-Earth Shadow of Mordor. Also released in 2014, Shadow of Mordor takes a different approach to AI than Alien Isolation. Rather than having a ready-made enemy like the Xenomorph hunt you down, players in Shadow of Mordor have a chance of creating their own worst enemy with the Nemesis system. This AI system turns lowly enemies who may have killed the player at some point into strong rivals who grow in rank and power each time they defeat you. And as the game continues, these persistent, procedurally generated nemeses will become an original rival character to you, grown completely organically within the game and not scripted by the developers. I killed you once. Killing you again will be even easier. This freedom, like the Xenomorph in Alien Isolation, is one way AI could unshackle NPCs and enemies as the technology develops. Have you heard about this game called Chess? It's this cool game that draws thousands of viewers on Twitch every day. I'm just kidding, but one of the first AI programs created specifically to challenge human players was Chess. And with the game having a renaissance as of late, why not check out what is currently regarded as one of the best AI-powered chess players online? No matter what you will play I will get advantages because you are an inferior species. Not only is Stockfish free, but it's open source as well, and development is also underway to merge Stockfish with the neural network. It's already showing strong results and could make the world's smartest chess engine even smarter. What's old is new again, and the early AIs used to play chess are evolving once more with the new advancements in AI. ChatGPT can't make games, but it could potentially play a tabletop RPG with you. While OpenAI's language program is there to generate AI-powered responses to your questions, people online have started enlisting ChatGPT to help with their tabletop campaigns. Whether it's asking ChatGPT to help come up with and designing an adventure for Dungeons & Dragons, or joining as a party member, it's not that difficult to add ChatGPT to your games right now. ChatGPT's conversation limit means it probably can't join your party in the long haul, but in the spirit of experimentation, it's worth trying out for yourself to see why everyone is buzzing about AI suddenly. And like in AI Dungeon, there are already game developers who are taking this general idea and beginning to tune it towards playable experiences that are, well, actually games. AI's impact on games won't be seen for a couple more years, but these five projects should give you a sample of what to possibly expect when the next chapter of the AI revolution truly hits game development. For more from IGN's AI Week, check out our video on how AI will change gaming. And for everything else, keep it here on IGN.